You are listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. Yodely, hee hoo, sock breath. Welcome to another Radio Nonsense, the official comedy club for kids podcast suitable for all ages. Yeah, that's right. This week is a special show suitable even for 100 year olds. I'm being very generous. I'm being a nice guy. Oh, wait, hang on. What's this note I've been handed? Ha ha, we've been listening all along. You can't stop our ears from hearing your show. We've been around for 100 years. We know how to do stuff. Ha ha ha, much love and 100-year-old bum noises, the 100-year-olds. Oh, how dare they! Right, 100-year-olds, you are barred again from this show. You must never listen to it. No 100-year-olds. They are the absolute worst. Sorry, uh, what I meant to say was, hello, uh, I'm Tian and Duyeb, which, as you'll know, is the code word you can whisper on the fourth archway from the left in anger what, and a bird will sneeze at you. Magic. Um, I hope you're all doing OK and have been doing your essential outdoor exercise. I still don't know what outdoor exercise is and what's indoor. I mean, you can ride a bike outside, but you could ride a bike inside, couldn't you? I mean, you just have to do a lot of circles and I guess that's basically recycling, isn't it? So it's good for the planet. I saw someone doing yoga outside the other day, even though I thought it was an inside sport. But then again, they may have just fallen over funny and then landed in some glue and got stuck. It's very hard to tell sometimes. Anyway, one good thing to do uh, is if your sizable attendant Burks, sorry, grown-ups, are demanding that you do your essential outdoor exercise, why not tell them that your essential exercise of choice is swimming and insist on walking to the park, dressed in your swim shorts, flippers, goggles, armbands and a snorkel and pretending to do backstroke the whole way. I give it ten minutes before they're so embarrassed they suggest you go home again. Win! Now, once again, I've managed to get a brilliant comedian to answer questions that you have sent in to us, but we still need more. We still need more. We're going to take a little break in a couple of weeks, but this show will be back, so even if you send them in after that, we'll still need them. So please do stay tuned to the end of the show for details on how to send us any questions about anything at all in the universe, ever. And now... And now, on to the very important bit on today's show... Amazing. I'm joined today by the brilliant Mr. Fibbers. Ah, oh, Mr. Fibbers, how are you? Hello, I am good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good, thank you. And I just have to check because I, I've got to check. I, I just do. I always call you Mr. Fibbers, or should I call you Mr. or Fibbers? Is Mr. your first name, or is there a Miss, Mr. Fibbers is fine. Mr. F is fine. Whatever you prefer. I've been okay. called a lot worse. <laughs> All right, well, I won't Usually call you on like, stage. Well, I won't call you like scrambled egg face or anything like that. I'll call you <gasps> Mr. Fibbers. Oh I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so rude. That's you know, it's a family, <laughs> family friendly podcast. We can't go down that road. Um but how are you getting on? Are you doing all right? I'm fine. Do you know what it's been it's been tough tuning in. It's been it's been tough. Like see before before lockdown, I just got a new job as oh, well. Yeah. Um so I it's a bit of a, it's a tricky one. It was a job it was a part time cat burglar. And now because oh. of lockdown, I'm not allowed into anybody's houses. So I've been struggling a bit. That is and tricky. That is tricky. Yeah. And I, I don't want to break the law or anything. So I'm going to stay at home and do as I'm told. So once lockdown's lifted, it'll be fine. But it has been a bit tough. But oh. apart from that, I'm doing OK. I'm, doing I'm okay. very sorry to hear that. That's, and you got, you know, you just got that brand new job. Did you have to have an interview for that job? Uh, no, I just, you know, I thought there's not many around here. <laughs> um, I think I think the, the one's needed, so I might as well go for it. I've got the cat the cat suit, so make the most of it. Oh, nice! No, so, so it's you wear the cat suit. You don't go and steal cats. No, 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 no. I wear a cat suit and I and and I burgle I burgle the houses, but not now, of course, because sure. that would be breaking the law. So of not course. now. Yeah, that's fair. Could you wait? Could you go into like say if someone had a really big house, so they're in one mm-hmm. end of it, and there's no one in the other end of it? Would that count? Mm-hmm. Because you'd be you'd be at least two meters away from them. Oh, do you know? I never thought of that. I never thought of that. I could maybe even even let them know that I'm going to be there, just yeah. so that they don't come within two meters. Oh, I might try that. Oh, yeah. cheers! Thank you. No, you're very welcome. I hope that works out for you. I, you know, it's it's very sad to hear that you'd put all this effort into doing something new, and obviously, uh, it, it can't happen. So I hope I hope that works out. Just target the really big houses. 
do you know that's a good shout i think yeah. I, i've been doing this all wrong my business plan's been terrible <laughs> Um, well, well, speaking of which, you know, apart from your, your business thing, you're, you're doing all right, which is good. I, I wondered if, you know, everybody listening to this, they're all stuck at home as well. I wonder if you've got any tips um, for how to make things more interesting at home. Is there anything you've been doing to kind of keep yourself entertained? Well, what I've found and what I've found is that adults like to keep busy and they like to keep busy as much as possible because the busier they are, the happier they are. So what I like to do and what I would advise is a good thing to do at home, make as much mess as possible because that way <laughs> all the adults in the house they've got stuff to do they've got stuff to tidy for hours it'll keep them your mum and dad will be like happy for hours and they will love you for it so get the silly string empty the fridge empty the toy boxes <laughs> and keep them busy that is such a great plan and so is is your home at the moment just covered in mess everywhere yeah um because my wife won't tidy up. Apparently, it doesn't make her happy. She's the odd one out. <laughs> oh, there's always an exception to every rule, isn't there? So, It's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's a shame. So you're just making mess on top of mess and then not tidying I'm hoping, it up. Do you know, I'm hoping, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm doing a good thing by making this mess and it's just not working. So I think I need to try a bit harder. I think what I might do is just empty, some, empty a few more shelves, maybe open up the cat food, put it on the floor, mix it all in, <laughs> into the carpet. You know, maybe I'm just not trying hard enough. I think that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, have you thought about, you know, with your cat burglar business, maybe you could go to other mm-hmm. people's homes and mess them up? I but why can't you? Do you know what? I think you should be my manager. I've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> so now I've I've gone from having a rubbish business where I just chap on the neighbour's door, hoping that they're not in uh, and going in and then having to stop to robbing big houses and then making a mess so that they've got stuff to do. And that's a double whammy. I could even start up a, a, a PayPal account and just say, look, I've been round, I've messed up the house, you're welcome. Any donations are welcome. <laughs> I think it's a great, it's a really great idea. And I think you're obviously, you know, people like you are needed right now. To There's going to be people out there maybe that don't have kids to mess up the house for them. Mm-hmm. You're the guy that can go in and absolutely trash their kitchen to, to keep them happy. Exactly. I imagine that you're, that you're sitting in your house, you're looking there, all your utensils are in order, all the drawers are all tied, and you're sitting there going, I've got nothing to do. I wish someone would just come round and make a mess. I could yeah. do that. I could yeah. do that. I, I, I believe in you. And I, I think, you know, it won't be long before people are outside clapping for you with, with, with a service like that. It's really important. <laughs> really important um well so obviously uh, we're speaking on on a podcast which is audio and for people's ears um i wondered uh, if you might have a favorite noise that you could share with our listeners oh right i've I do, I do lots of funny noises so i do my obviously my musical comedy and things so i do a lot of funny noises but my favorite i've got two favorite noises and it's noises that my nose makes okay right uh now it makes two different noises depending on how hard i press my nose <laughs> so here, so it uh, right i'll try it i'll see if it works in a minute hold on hold on it's the first one you ready yeah here we go here we go whoa oh wow one. that was amazing so that's, that's just a light tap on the nose so you don't press it too hard so <laughs> just a little bit wow. now the second one if i press it too hard it goes now it might be quite loud so cover your ears okay oh <laughs> Wow, that was an so, incredible. Yeah. And so that's all through your nose. It's through my nose, my nose. I just press the nose, and that noise comes out. Wow, I mean, I'm so very impressed. That's that's. Re- I mean, one of them sounded a lot like a sort of maybe a bicycle horn or a clown's horn, and the mm-hmm. other one, I don't know what that sounded like. A sort of maybe a somebody very angry being like fired from <laughs> a hedge by a cannon or something. <laughs> I think, yeah, that that might be how it was. I don't know. I was just, you know, to, you know, I was just born that way. <laughs> well you have got so many talents that we're discovering today I, I just can't believe it i think you're going to be absolutely fine uh with noises like that you know that's the sort of once you've made, messed up someone's house maybe one of those is a kind of calling card uh, sound to say that you've gone or something like that maybe that's why i wouldn't have been very good because if i'm burgling somebody's house and i bump into the wall hit my nose and it's like yeah, and, yeah, and they know true. i'm there do you know it, it, it's a bit of a giveaway oh, maybe i can true. make sure that i do it just as i'm leaving so then oh mr fibbers has been it's fine, and then I'm away. But if I do it by accident, I'm caught. Yeah, you might have to wear like a nose muffler or something. Yeah. Yeah, tricky, tricky. Mm. Well, I mean, all of this has been amazing so far. I'm so glad that you're here today. Um, and I just want to double check. Obviously, this show is suitable for everyone of all ages, uh, 0 mm-hmm. to 99 and 101 onwards, not 100-year-olds. It's a very long story, but you have to have rules. Um, <laughs> and I just wondered, you know, this show 
family friendly. Um, mm-hmm. What rude word definitely won't you be saying to make sure that this stays OK for everyone? Uh, I will definitely not be saying jobbies. Oh, so for, for those that, that maybe don't know, a, a, a jobbies, the, the, it's, it's, it's a big smelly poo. So I definitely won't be saying jobbies today because that's a bit of a oh, rude word. Please, please don't say jobbies. Jobbies is a terribly rude word, and I don't think anyone on the podcast should say jobbies ever again. Jo- jobbies, jobbies is one of those words where it's oh, everyone. It's like it's like saying Voldemort in Hogwarts. Oh. It's like that you say jobbies, and everyone's like. <gasps> so I definitely will not be saying jobbies. Great, thank you very much. Please don't say jobbies ever again. I won't say jobbies uh, either. So okay. it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and now we're on to the very important thing, um, which is that Harry, age 10, has written in. He sent us three questions, and, I, and I've put these to you because I think you know I think you know the answers. I think you're the, you're the man to come to for these questions. Um, right, so okay. So the first one, the first one, Harry wants to know why is Pooh brown? And I should say he said Pooh there, not jobbies, so we're okay. Didn't say jobbies, no, that's good. But uh, <laughs> very good, good. Harry, hello, Harry, how are you doing? Um, first of all, I'm not falling for that one. We all know Pooh's green, so <laughs> very good. <laughs> Wait, hang on, so what, Pooh's, Pooh's green? Isn't it? I thought Wait. Pooh was brown. I mean, well, maybe you can get different coloured Pooh's. Well, mine's green. Is not. Is that? Is that not normal? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, I have to say, I don't look at my poo that often. I mean, I don't look at other people's jobbies. I mean, poo, sorry, uh, that Phew. often. Um, oh, man. Oh, I might need to get that checked. Hang on. Okay. How, how green is it? Is it like glowing green or is it like, a, you know, what sort of Well, color? I mean, when, 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 well, well, sometimes if I do a job, I'm not a job, I poo in the dark. If I switch the light off, I, I can still see. So, yeah, it's quite fluorescent. Is that? Wow. Oh, Wait, what are you I, eating? I thought that was what everybody's did. What do you What do you eat for dinner? Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you caught me out there. Um, <laughs> are you I'm eating any sure. sort of like weird glowing rocks that you found in the garden, or any sort of I don't know uh, nuclear sort of rods or anything like that? Well, I did. I did find a few sparkly gems in in the, in, the, in in the garden. There was a few. Um, there was a few there that were shiny. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just a reflection from those. I mean, but, but it's been going on for a while. That sounds and quite they, nice. And, and wheat abix. Oh yeah. Oh we. Oh, do you know it's probably the wheat abix? Yeah, I think it's more likely that actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's probably it. I mean, I have to say, it sounds like you've made your your poo sort of more entertainment or more showbiz than than anyone else i feel like maybe we should all be trying a bit harder well, well, well do you just need to eat, eat more wheat about them by the sounds of it i think that's what i'm going to be doing or i might lay off them actually i mean it sounds like it might be not normal uh yeah, so yeah, yeah. no more wheat bricks for me bran flakes all the way i think that's it and i think stick to the sparkly gems though because you've got to get that in your diet isn't it minerals and all that yeah exactly i mean that's the, that's the classy thing to do you know you know yeah so. So, so well, Harry wants to know why is poo brown. Obviously, yours aren't, but I guess it just if somebody eats, what would what would you have to eat to get brown poos? Cocoa pops must be, must oh, be cocoa pops. Of must course. Be. Oh, that's so obvious. Yeah. Right. Or I suppose if you eat if you eat a uh, a tomato with a cabbage, that that would make brown, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I suppose it depends on what you eat. I think that's what it is, Harry. It depends on what you eat, why your poo is brown. Or maybe it's just yours and Tiernan's poo that's brown and everybody else's is green, like mine. Oh, I mean, that could also be it. Maybe me and Harry really need to um, change our diet to include more Weetabix and gems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good call. Well, thank you. That was, I mean, that was a, a really important answer and hopefully Harry will go away now and try and eat some other things and, and sort of um, have a more uh, exciting toilet, I guess. Yeah, uh, hopefully I'm here to help. Um, well, Harry's second question, um, mm-hmm. I suppose, is it related? Probably not related. Um, Harry would like to know, why is water wet? Now, that is a really good question, Harry. That is a very good question. And I've, I've, I ponder that quite a lot. And the, the, the answer that I can only give is, how else would you make a cup of tea? Oh, of course. Because if, if if water was dry, you'd have a dry cup of tea. Ugh. And that's just, nobody likes that. So that'd be horrible. That, that's why I think that's why water is wet, just so you can make a good cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, also, I suppose it, that works with a lot of things, doesn't it? So, say swimming pools, if, if water was dry, you'd jump in and bang your head. Mm-hmm. 
Imagine, uh, do you know what? Imagine that they used to be dry. It used to just be like, like, uh, like races now that take four and a half seconds to finish. It actually took them about 17 minutes and they were all, <laughs> all shattered by the end of it. That's maybe what it was. It used to be through... what used to be dry. Oh, that's horrible. And yeah. you get it all in your eyes and your ears. It'd be really horrible. Yeah, and imagine you're sitting having a cup of tea, chatting with somebody, and you drink your cup of tea, and you're, you're talking normally like, hi, how are you? And you drink your cup of tea, and then you're like... <laughs> it just, it just, you, you can't do that. So, that was an amazing. Yeah. Can I just check? Did you just drink some dry tea just then? Because that sounded exactly like it would have done. Do, uh, do you know, I'm just such a good actor. I I'm think that's impressed. what it was. Very impressed. I think you had some there for for for, uh, for show. That was very impressive. I mean, I guess the other things, you know, there's a lot of because you have water in baths, don't you? A dry bath mm-hmm. would be really horrible. It'd be weird. It'd be weird. Have you ever had a bath uh, a bath of baked beans? Have you done that before? Do you know? I'm very pleased to say that I I haven't had a bath of baked beans. Doesn't work. You just you you don't come out clean. It's a waste of time. Waste of oh. time. That's weird. So a baked bean's not clean. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I thought like, if baked beans were clean, then surely if you bathe in baked beans, you'd come out clean. But you, maybe, you, yeah, you come out. Yeah. So baked beans need to take a bath before you bath in baked beans. Yeah. So you would need wet water, baked beans into the bath, but you, and, and you would you would, maybe you come out clean, but if you use it when it's still got all the sauce in it, it's a waste of time. Absolute waste. Of time. And do you know how many tins of beans it takes to fill up a bath? Is it? Is it? A, I bet it's a lot, isn't it? You can't do it with it, two. It's like seven. It's so seven. many. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's and loads. Out of because if you eat baked beans, you fart mm-hmm. quite a lot. If you bath mm-hmm. in baked beans, does does that also cause fart? Does that work in the same way? <laughs> It's, it's, it's got um, it's got a, a, a sort of double whammy effect. So you you know how you can fart in the bath and it goes whoop, 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 yeah like that. You fart in a baked bean bath and it just keeps going in a circle because it goes into your mouth and it comes back out again. It's horrid. Oh no! And then you're trapped in like a circle of farts. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, the worst farts ever. This is. I mean, this is really bad. This is what a horrible idea. I'm very pleased that if water was dry, then you'd have to have baked bean baths because that's the only other thing in the world that's wet. Yeah. And then you'd be trapped in a circle of farts. Maybe that's what happened again. So that could be another reason, Harry, why water is wet, because this was what was happening. People were bathing in baked beans just to get into the Guinness World Record and and to get clean. And they were just having a a recycle of farts. And and someone went, no, this is it. We need to cut this out. We can't drink tea. We can't have clean baths. We need to make water wet. And maybe that's how it changed. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking the only thing that would be good about dry water would be because when you when you go for a wee quite a lot of that's mm-hmm. water that's coming out and you just have little dry wee so you could just sort of like put them in your pocket oh that's quite a good idea yeah Do, w- would it come out as would, would it come out as like a powder or would it be like 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 a lance oh i don't know actually that's a good call but i'd like I'd an icicle a powder because a lance could be quite painful <laughs> but yeah maybe, maybe it's a little powder and then like if you needed a wee instead of weeing yourself and they're going everywhere mm-hmm. wetting the bed you just could put it in a little pot or something. Yeah, and then then like stood up, and you wouldn't even need to get out of bed for that. At yeah. night, you know how sometimes you're like, oh, I can't be bothered getting out of bed, but I really need to pee. I know. I'll just put. I'll just. I'll just. I'll just put the powder in my hand and put it on the on the table at the side. Make a mess, and then the adults have to clean it up. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> genius. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Well, I think but I, I think we understand why water's wet, but there'd definitely be positives if it wasn't. So I hope that's answered your question, Harry. And um, he's actually got one more for you, Mr. Fibbers. And, and I think okay. this is, again, this is right. This is your forte. I think this is your specialist subject, if you were to do mm-hmm. Mastermind. Harry yep. wants to know, are monsters woolly? That is a very, very good question, Harry. Now, I am a little bit of an expert on monsters, specifically... Nessie, oh, Loch Ness monster. Now, a few monsters aren't woolly, but a lot of monsters are. So, not all monsters are woolly, but some of them are. And Nessie is the wooliest of them all. Really? And the reason, yeah, and yeah, absolutely. Now, the reason being, that's why we don't see Nessie anymore because she is so woolly. She's too heavy now, and she can't get above the water. That's why you never see any sightings of her anymore. And she's 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 sunk because she's too heavy because she's made of wool. Oh, that's really sad. If only water was dry, then she'd be fine. I know, right? Yeah. These, I, I, I don't know if Harry planned these, but all these questions are sort of merging into one 
like do. They ultimate do really question. Mean. Yeah, I mean, incidentally, is 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 Nessie's poo brown or green? Um, I, I'm I'm going to have to say it's neither. I'm going to say it's pink. Oh, I'm sure. going to say it's pink. Yeah, understandable. I've not seen it. I'm just guessing. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but with your with your knowledge with with Nessie being woolly, has anyone ever mm-hmm. sort of like sheared Nessie? Has anyone ever worn like a Nessie coat or a, a Nessie hat? Well, I think they must have because there have been pictures of Nessie before, and she wasn't woolly. And I think what's happened is she's come out of the lock, and I should say just for my, my the proper pronunciation, loch. Or I'll get in trouble from the folk from Scotland for not saying that loch. right. Am I saying the loch. Right? loch? Loch, yes, loch. that's right. So she's come out of the loch, and 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 she gets maybe she's getting a wee haircut um, every so often, then goes away, and maybe she's not been out for a haircut for a while, and that's how the wool's grown back, and that's why you don't see it anymore. So I think she would have done. I think she 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 had a regular haircut back in the day, and that's wow. where there used to be pictures of her. Um, and that's do you know maybe that's how the the the, the Harris Harris tweed started maybe they started exporting it to Harris and then maybe they started making like the tweed jackets oh, and things from it maybe that's actually made from from Nessie's wool that's that why it's so special perfect sense and I guess you know maybe when this lockdown's over and people can get their haircuts again Nessie mm-hmm. can can get a, a barber in and suddenly we'll have a load more tweed that, do you know I hope so that if, if there's one outcome I want from this I think that's what it should be yeah, yeah, me too, me too. And and so, can I just check with Harry's question? So, are monsters woolly? Mm-hmm. Some are, some aren't. Is there are there any that definitely aren't? Definitely aren't. Do you know, contrary to popular be- belief, Bigfoot, what? Bigfoot, he's not hairy. Oh, he's no, not hairy. What? He's just he's just got a really nice jacket, and oh, that's wow. it. He's got a jacket with a hood. He takes that off, and he's actually just all pink and wrinkly underneath. Oh. He's not actually hairy. But he's, doesn't he live? He lives in the, the Himalayas, doesn't he? In the mountains. So I guess he's, he's probably quite cold without the jacket. Yeah, exactly. That's why he's got a jacket. Because uh, he would be sense. cold. Yeah, of See. course, of course. See, not a lot of people know that. Let me just let me just throw a few at you. Um, Bogeyman, mm-hmm. Bogeyman, Woolly. Bogeyman is more more gelatinous than than Woolly. Sure, more bogey, yeah. I guess. More yeah, shotty. yeah, yeah. That's quite horrible. Um, vampires are vampires, Woolly. Vampires are, but only from the the waist up. Great, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, werewolves. Yeah. Uh, werewolves. Werewolves are yeah. Werewolves, werewolves are. are. That goes. That that goes without saying. I think because it'd be weird. Because otherwise, they would just look like 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 a, a big bold rat. So no, yeah. Werewolves are definitely definitely yeah, woolly. You don't want to wear a rat. That would be terrible. Um, yeah, okay. and it's good for alliteration as well. A woolly werewolf. It's nice to say. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, th- no. You're right. You're right. That makes perfect sense. And um, what about zombies? Zombies, uh, it, 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 it that, that depends. If it's a zombie werewolf, definitely. But ah. if it's a zombie bogeyman, then 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 no. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, unless then, oh. unless the zombie bogeyman has fallen into the uh, the trimmings of Nessie and it gets stuck <laughs> in them, then they're woolly. I suppose these sort of things can happen at those big sort of monster get-togethers that they they usually have. Yeah, there's so many variables to this question. So, do you know, it's... it's uh, this, this is it's... why I asked you, because you understand and you can cover it thoroughly so Harry doesn't just mm-hmm. get a yes or a no because kids don't want that. They need the proper answers. You know, they're being hosted yeah. right now. They need to know fully about the subject. Well, I'm just, I'm pleased I can be there for them and, and, and tell them this. I mean, especially ready for when they go back to school and they're getting asked these questions in school and they can give a definitive answer. I'm like, no, nah, this is the answer. I know for a fact because Mr. Fibber has told me. Well, I, it's so very so. appreciated. Um, I've got two more monsters. Just quick, we can just do a quick fire with these mm-hmm. uh, witches. Witches, uh, they've they've only got a hairy nose. They've uh, got a hairy nose. Now, a lot of people think it's just the 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 wart on the nose, but it's actually the full nose that's hairy. Right, right, okay, okay, that makes sense. What about um, what about Godzilla? Godzilla has uh, really, really, really hairy toes. Right, right, and that's why really he's hairy in toes water quite a lot, aren't they? Like when he comes in, when he's in the sea. Because his feet are all weighed down, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And he, he would normally try and shave them, but um, he can't reach because he's got tiny arms. Sure, sure. I can see that as being a problem. Brilliant. Well, I mean, thank you. Yeah. That was that was so helpful. And um, hopefully well, Harry welcome. now thank knows you. all about poo and water and monsters. And that should really help him. Uh, in the future um, and uh, I really appreciate your help there Mr Vibbers and I and I just want to ask before before we go and, and thank you so much mm-hmm. again for your time um, you're doing a live show uh, is that every Sunday you're doing a live show? 
I am, yeah. So um, obviously because of, of the lockdown and me not being able to be out doing my, my part-time job as a cat burglar, I thought I'll get back to doing some of my live shows. So um, on my Facebook page, which is just Mr. Fibbers, um, I'm going to be doing a live show every Sunday at 11 o'clock. So Harry and everyone else listening, if you want to tune into that every week, that would be awesome. And can I just check that? You are going to be doing that. You're not, because I know you've now got this new job of popping into people's houses to mess them up. Mm-hmm. I just want to check you're still going to take time out to see the live show, though. Yeah, I'm. You don't count burglar during the day. Come sure. on, no. Come <laughs> Sorry. on. Oh, I'm an amateur. You know, I, I, I don't do it. This is why I've called you in. <laughs> These are things I don't know about. Brilliant. Well, well, thank you so much again. And excited about your live shows. And um, good luck uh, with the green poos, uh, I guess. Well, there you go, Harry. I hope that has answered all of your questions about poo, water and the williness of monsters. I certainly feel like I've learned an awful lot. Mostly that I'm very pleased that I don't have green poos and a toilet with dry water in it, or that would be a really terrible day. Uh, don't forget to tune into Mr Fibber's live show every Sunday at 11am on facebook.com forward slash Mr Fibber's. And if you have questions about, well, anything we haven't already answered, or you just want to tell me how your swim to the park went, which I guess is sort of dry water, isn't it? Anyway, then ask your sizable attendant Burks, sorry, grown-ups, to help you email us at podcast at comedy club for kids.co.uk. And if they also fancy helping you review our show on Apple Podcasts or wherever they get their podcasts from, that would be lovely. And if they'd like to buy us a coffee for helping you to learn to mess things up in order to keep them happy, then they can do that too at ko-fi.com forward slash comedy club for kids. Happy park swimming and dry water bathing. Bye. You have been listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, it's the end.